Welcome all to Classic Car Life, and you join me here in my first episode of our Road to the Concourse series. Now, we have never attended a Concourse show before, so this series is all about bringing you guys along for our journey on the Concourse show. Now, this is the first episode, and in this video, I'll be showing you all about cleaning the car and how you get up to Concourse standard. Now, lots of you guys on Instagram have been asking me, how do we get it there and what products do we use? So in this video, I'll show you all the products we're using and how we're going to get that perfect shine on the car. Now, obviously, there's many different ways of getting the perfect clean on a car, and there's many different companies that sell different products. But I'm just going to show you guys what we use and what we think is best to get that perfect shine and that perfect show finish. Now, what I will tell you guys before we get outside is this is not an easy job. It's not a quick job either. There is a lot of steps and it takes a lot of time. So we're going to get out there. I'll start showing you the products. But I am going to be using uh, someone else with me today to help me because it is so long. So two people is the best way to get this job done. So we'll head outside now and I'll show you all the products and then we'll get cleaning. So guys, I'm out in the garage now and it's time to begin the first stage of this big clean. So in this stage, it's all about removing the surface grit and grime from the car. So to do this, I'm going to use Auto Glim uh, shampoo and conditioner. If you combine this with hot water, it soaks up all the bugs and all the dirt on the car. Um, it's key that when using a uh, shampoo, that you use it with a microfiber mitt. This stops any swirling and scratching on the paintwork. So let's get on with this, and then we can begin the later stage of the process and get this deep clean going. Oh, I can see the dawn in those eyes. Even though you try to hide it There's not much to figure out Cause I know why And I won't try to fight it, try to fight it I'll be the first to tell you You were right Oh, you were right oh. So we just finished shampooing the car and all the surface grit and grime has been removed Now it's time to remove any bonding contaminants from the paintwork You do this using a clay bar kit, we've got one from Autoglim here it's a very simple and easy process. You simply rub the clay bar over the car using uh, the rapid detailer that also comes in the kit. This leaves your car with a very silky smooth finish in preparation for polishing. So let's get on, let's get this clay bar kit done and then we can move on to the next stage of this big clean. So we've just finished claying the car and the bodywork is now silky smooth. That means it's time to use the final product in the clay detailing kit, which is a super resin polish, which I've got here. Now, this is very easy to apply. You apply it in circular motions and then you rub it off with a microfiber cloth. Uh, this leaves a high shine to the bodywork in preparation for waxing. I won't try to fight it, try to fight it. I'll be the first to tell you, you were right. Oh, you were right, oh, you were right. I'm sorry, this time But I want you to know that I was wrong I know, I know I just wanna say that I was wrong I know, I know I want you to know that I was wrong super resin polish off and you can stop there but to achieve that concourse finish the last and final product you use is a wax and this is using the same way as the polish you rub it on leave it to dry and then rub it off this leaves the car with a mirror finish and that perfect concourse shine to make your car stand out at any show
those days I try not to remember I got lost in the storm of my ways Couldn't pull myself together, myself together And I'll be the first to tell you and it's probably the most time consuming product to apply and remove in this whole deep clean process. But it is crucial that you wax your car because it locks in that silky smooth paintwork and all the hard work and hours you've put in. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of my Road to the Concourse series because there's so much more to come and obviously inevitably the Concourse show at the end where we're taking the C and the E type along. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more and do like, the like ratings always help and I'll see you guys soon.